All right, hey, what's up y'all? Jesse here with Southern Reels, and today I'm actually doing a little project out of my shop. What I'm doing today is installing this Harkin hoister lift that I got from Austin Kayak a while back. The purpose of this is to get the kayak that I have sitting back here on the floor, up off the floor and up in storage, and I have plans on putting it up in the ceiling over here as you see where the ladder is. I've already been working on it a little bit, kind of preparing for this. Uh, but this is a nice little lift here. This is the uh, larger model that they sell. This one here supports 200 pounds. I don't know if you can see that, which is more than enough to lift um, either kayak that I have up to the ceiling and basically store it up off the floor. That way I can just have a little more floor room in here in the shop. First thing I did is unbox it, of course, get everything laid out on the table here. I've got pretty much all the pieces to it just kind of laid out nice and neat on the table. Went ahead and unwound the cords and got them all you know, straightened out so I can kind of see what's what as far as they go. And of course, you know, read through the directions real quick. And there's not really too much to putting this system up. It's really just a matter of figuring the mounting points and how you're gonna mount these anchors. These are the important thing. These are the anchors that actually screw into the ceiling and hold the caster wheels right here like so that, you know, the rope pass through and goes down to the kayak and off to the pulley system. You gotta make sure you have these mounted very securely, of course, especially if you're gonna be lifting 200 pounds with it. So that's kind of where you got to plan and in the book it's nice they show you you know many different scenarios basically on how you would mount it how you would determine you know the correct mounting points and everything they recommend one third the length of your kayak should be how far apart the front and rear ropes are and the widest portion of your kayak plus two inches on each side as far as the width honestly i recommend checking with the manufacturer of whatever kayak or canoe that you're actually going to be supporting in the ceiling to make sure that you're doing what they suggest more so what the book here suggests kayaks like the hobies especially they're particular about how you store them in this type of setup they would want them stored upside down unless you're using the cradles which is what i have on mine let me show you you can basically see that on my kayak i have these sleds that i built with the hobie cradles attached i got one on my uh, 2017 outback here and also the same thing over here on my 2019 Outback. Basically, I have those sleds configured to where I can quickly set the trailer up to carry one or two kayaks just by moving them side to side or centering the one that I want to use and putting a few screws in it to basically hold it in place. And it's also nice because they act as storage so I can set them right on the floor. And my idea is, is to have the ropes come down from the ceiling with a, a support board to run underneath the entire sled and just lift the whole thing right up to the ceiling is basically what I've got planned. Um, I've got everything laid out. I've already done some work up here in my ceiling. Let me show you. All right, guys, as far as up here in the ceiling, I've already got two mounting blocks mounted for the rear hooks that it's going to hold the pulley. And farther forward, I'm going to go directly into the joist. Since I have an open ceiling here, you don't have to worry too much about doing the runner boards and everything like they talk about in your manual. That's more so if you have a, a finished ceiling like in a garage that's sheetrock, you would definitely want to follow the directions. That way you're sure to get the mounting points into solid wood. All right, folks, so I've already planned mine. I know the mounting locations. I've got the blocking already up here for kind of did all of that ahead of time since it's going to vary basically for every setup i do have a 7 30 seconds drill bit right here and i'm going to go ahead and drill the four mounting locations that i've already got marked that way i can get the anchors in so i'm gonna do that now all right so i got the holes drilled now i'm going to put the anchors in all right and the anchors basically consist of these four guys right here is what holds the pulleys you want to thread them in until you're flush with the thread on the bottom is what they say so i'm going to use a screwdriver to help all right, well, folks, that portion of it's done. Basically, the four anchor points for the ropes. Now I have to do this little uh, gang reel, whatever this would be called, gang pulley. That's going to collect all the ropes and send it off to the corner over there where I'm going to mount the actual cam lock system and the rope that comes down. This has got to be mounted in the center in between the two front mounting points. And I actually have to drop this down an inch and a half according to the direction. So I have to cut a block of wood and add it up there real quick and secure that. And then I can put this in place. So I want to do that real quick. All right, well folks, that's done now. It's time to actually mount the little gang reel or pulley system here. One difference is they want you to pre-drill the holes for the lag bolts with a 5 30 seconds bit. So that's what I'm going to use for that real quick. Go ahead and get this mounted. All right, so I think the next thing I have to do is prepare the anchor point over on the wall where the rope's going to run to, which is another eye bolt that I have to put in. Then I can pretty much run the cabling and stuff, so I'm going to figure for that real quick. This is the uh, eye bolt that I have to put in. This basically threads into the wall and has a little clevis that hooks to it that hangs the actual pulley and cam system that lifts and locks and lowers 
all the ropes together. Now you could position this anywhere you want it. I'm actually gonna put it on that island right over there because this back door is actually a big door that opens, so I don't want it to be in the middle of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to a 7 30 seconds drill bit and pretty much anchor this right up there into the ceiling. All right, now that I have that anchor point up there, you basically just take this little clevis pin here, which works with this, and this pretty much just hangs in that eye bolt that I just put up there to support this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that up real quick. All right, that's hung up there. Pretty much all I have to do now is go ahead and hang each pulley on each eye loop that I put up and then thread the rope through it. All right, there we go. I've got all the slack pulled out of it. Now I just gotta determine the long ropes from the short ropes, which is very easy. There's the short ones, and these are the long ones. Of course, the short ones go through the front pulleys and the long ones go through the back pulleys. So I'm gonna go ahead and configure all that now. All right, guys, as you see by looking in the background, I've got it all rigged up. The four points coming down that it's basically gonna lift the kayak. At this point, you would normally use this webbing that they send in the kit. This is what would go underneath the kayak like so. And then you tie off each end, it has a loop in it. And you would basically just do like a figure eight knot and adjust everything that way to where it would support it. I think I'm gonna actually do mine a little bit different because I plan on actually having a solid board that spans the width of the cable to attach to it permanently that I can just slip under the kayak sleds that I have built and use that to lift the entire sled up as opposed to trying to use strapping and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and figure for that real quick. All right, y'all, this is what I come up with. This is the cross board I was talking about. This is actually gonna go underneath the sled that I have already pre-made under each kayak with the cradles and all on it. And I went ahead and countersunk and through bolted some eye loops here on each end of it. But this basically will be supporting cables in here, lifting the entire cradle up and kayak up together. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get these in place underneath the kayak and get them adjusted and tie it off and hopefully get this thing in the air. All right guys, I finally got the uh, little cross boards underneath and I rolled the kayak over here in place on a little dolly and I'm getting ready to go ahead and try it out. The most aggravating part of this was tying the knots and trying to get them level. It's good enough for now. I still have some more leveling to do with it, but I at least have it good enough to where I can try it and demonstrate it. So I'm gonna go grab the cable, pull on it and see what happens. Well, folks, as you can see, it lifted it up. Not as high as I want, so I'm definitely gonna have to do some adjusting there. Let's see how it goes down. Let me check that out. Well, that's nice. And back up. Pretty cool. It definitely works. Anyway, at least it ain't sitting on the floor anymore. Well, I'll do my adjustments to it and get it up higher. I'll be happy with it. Hopefully this will help somebody out who's thinking about getting it. I'd definitely like the system. It would be nice definitely for getting it off the top of your car, like in a garage. I could definitely see where that would be ultimately beneficial there. I'll just be glad to have some more floor space in my garage. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions or comments, just hit me up below. See you next time. Peace.